So lately I've been getting GM clusters with LED backlighting problems. Here today we have an 08 Malibu. Uh, recently I also did an 07 Saturn Aura and I believe before that it was a Cobalt, but I could be wrong, but I think it was a Cobalt. As you can see, I've already got an LED circle. I found the trouble LED. Uh, to start with, the customer sent this in saying that the side gauges were lighting up uh, like when the headlights were on uh, at nighttime, you could see the side gauges, but not the center mile per hour gauge. Our backlighting LEDs for the mile per hour are just these here. The ones in the middle just light up the needle. The ones here are just dummy lights. Here and here are kilometers and miles per hour. So it's just these ones that we're concentrating on here. And the easiest, quickest way to find that is just use your multimeter, put it on diode check mode. And uh, you can just probe these LEDs. And uh, so these, these, let me get a little closer here. GM uses a bit of a, I'm not sure if it's completely proprietary, but they have a bit of an odd package LED that they like to use. It's a four pin LED. Let me turn off this light here. It's a four pin LED that normally four pin LEDs are used in uh, red, green, blue LEDs, but these are a single color LED. And there's three commons which is the negative side. And then um, the single lead by itself is the, it's gonna be your positive side. And here again, I'm just using diode check mode. And uh, you can use any any three of the grounds for your negative side. And as you can see, this one's here is not lighting up. Go over here. Oh, I'm sorry, get the polarity right, it helps out. Okay, so another good LED, another good LED. Another good LED, and uh, good. And again, this is for kilometers. That's not uh, a backlight in LED. Uh, another way to test it is with a power supply. We can just go ahead and feed. I'm using three volts. Uh, I got the current set limited. I'm sorry, limited to. Uh, it's actually only pulling 10 milliamps right now. So you can see another. Good, I'll go back to this one here. See, that one's good. And then we'll go to this one here. Um, I was getting a bit of a dim flicker out of it, and now uh, it won't even, oh, I'm sorry, there we go. It, it is, it's just lighting up dim, but that is definitely our problem. LED helps if you get the polarity right. Um, Okay, so it's just this one that is being our troublemaker. Now, like I said earlier, they use a bit of a odd package with the four pins. Um, I don't have any uh, direct replacement four pins, but I do have a generic 3528. That's the same color and uh, same power uh, usage. Uh, so this will be a good match. Uh, to get this off, I'm just going to blast it with hot air to remove it. Get my favorite tweezers here. There they are. <clears throat> Okay, there's the dust. Now my soldering iron is up to temp. Gonna get the one positive side pad ready here. I'm gonna leave the other pad uh, low just so I can get the LED to sit flat on the board. And 
Now I have to mount this just slightly off center because the other pad next to it is ground and this since this is just a standard 3528 it only has two pins don't want to cause a short so I'm only using two of the four to mount the new LED so these top pads here are tied into ground and so is this pad here and this is the positive side let's power this up still on diode check so if I did this right I should be able to hold ground here yep and there we go um, and then once again with uh, power supply Okay, and I should be able to uh, light up two at the same time. Um, I'm going to have to double my voltage. Okay. And I believe that should do it. There we go. You can see uh, it's a good match as far as output and color. It matches the factory LEDs. It just doesn't match the package shape. But that's worked around. And here is the dud. You can see it's got the four pads in the bottom. As far as taking apart and putting back together these clusters, it's, it's the same as the uh, older GMs. Uh, mark your uh, zero needle point and uh, you know, minimize the motor first mark it and put the needle back in the same place and be careful not to push the needle down too far i've seen other people uh bring me clusters that uh, aren't working because they push the needle down so far that it drags on the face and can't move so pay attention to that anyways that's it for this video thanks for watching